long before the modern Japan we know today, the ninja worked secretly in the shadows for hundreds of years. Public records about the ninja are scarce. Ninja Truth. The ninja were said to be well versed in astronomy, meteorology, biology, and other fields of natural science. And one of the things the ninja created with their knowledge of botany or plant life was... Poison. The ninja crafted poison out of things found in nature. Easy to carry, requiring relatively little skill to use, yet highly effective, poison was an ideal weapon for the ninja. The preparations for poison were closely guarded and handed down within their circle. Professor Yuji Yamada, a leading ninja researcher, provided some interesting insight on the topic. There's frequent mention of poison within ninja texts. Kumiokite, a text passed down in one ninja family, forbids dokugai, which literally translates into poison breeding. Poison breeding? That's an unusual term. Actually, in Old Japanese, it means the use of poison. Because poison was such a familiar item, it appears to have been banned to prevent its misuse and accidental poisonings. And from the fact that it was such a familiar item, we can assume that the ninja frequently used it on their espionage missions. The most well-known ninja manual describes how the ninja mixed machin into fried rice. Machin is the Japanese name for the strychnine tree, native to India, that grows in temperate regions. The seeds within its fruit contain a poisonous substance called strychnine. Extremely potent, one seed is enough to kill a grown person. When sneaking into an enemy camp, there was one thing that the ninja feared more than anything. And that was a watchdog. This is where the poisoned rice bowl came in handy. The ninja used it to silence their watchful nemesis. When the ninja wanted to eliminate a target with certainty, they used monkshood, another highly lethal poison. Monkshood contains aconitine, an alkaloid neurotoxin that causes seizures, breathing difficulty and organ failure. The ninja are said to have smeared the toxin extracted from the root onto their weapons.
a fast-acting poison. Once it entered the body, it killed its victims in less than a minute. But not all of their concoctions were designed to kill. And one such must-have was Metsubushiyaku, or blinding powder. Oi, wait! Mitsubushiyaku was made with chili pepper. Ground into powder, it was mixed with ashes so that it would scatter effectively. Because the capsaicin within chili pepper is fat soluble, it's not easily rubbed or washed off. It was the ninja equivalent of a pepper spray. With their extensive knowledge of plants and their effects, it's not surprising that the ninja had one for extracting information. It's referred to as ahoyaku, or fool's medicine and is what we now know as cannabis. Cannabis contains a substance called tetrahydrocannabinol, which induces pleasurable sensations, hallucinations, and other side effects. It's classified worldwide as a controlled substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> Under its euphoric influence, the target was more likely to divulge sensitive information. The ninja will Koka Ninja, one of the two major ninja clans. Among the ninja clans, the Koka Ninja were known for their exceptional knowledge of medicines, and we're here in their homelands to discover just some of their secrets. One of the things you notice while walking around here is that there's a lot of pharmaceutical stores. Koka City has a population of less than 100,000, yet it's home to more than 10 pharmaceutical companies. And that's because, for hundreds of years, indigenous medicinal plants and transplanted species have thrived in this region. We spoke with Professor Yoshio Yamamoto, who's been studying the ninja's use of medicinal plants. Koka is located in Shiga Prefecture, which has bays in three directions. So it receives cold wind from the north and warm winds from the south and west. 
This means that the climate varies from area to area. And this is probably why there's such an abundance of indigenous medicinal plants. Naturally, the ninja here had the opportunity to study a wide variety of plants and became experts in the preparation of herbal concoctions. For their missions, the ninja assumed various disguises, posing as commoners, performers, peddlers and the like. With their knowledge of medicine, the Koka ninja often assumed the guise of mountain ascetics and merchants. They would travel throughout Japan, offering prayers and remedies as mountain ascetics, or pedal medicine as traveling merchants while gathering intelligence. And their most sought after medicines were those for stomach aches. The poor conditions of those days meant that people frequently suffered from upset stomachs, putting the ninja's remedies in high demand. This is a plant called Thunberg's geranium. It helps relieve stomach pains. It's dried, ground into a powder, and ingested. actually ingested the plants themselves to determine which had medicinal properties and to find the right dosage. Unfortunately, with this method, some of them probably died from eating or drinking something poisonous. This company has been making medicine that the ninja would sell. We spoke with company president, Masato Okita, who was born and raised here. This is it. It's used to regulate stomach and intestinal function. The medicine is made with five ingredients, cinnamon, and meso, gentian root, simbu. Times. So, does it work? Of course. In Japan, only medicines that have been verified as safe and effective can be sold. Ninjutsugan has cleared the current standard and has been approved and authorized by the government. And we learned an interesting fact. For quite some time now, the company's been receiving ongoing orders for a particular medicine from Kagoshima Prefecture, which is some 800 kilometers away. So the descendants of the customers they served while undercover continue to buy their medicine. That's right. Now that's a story. Yes. Medicines. With poison and medicine being two sides of the same coin, the ninja's knowledge in itself was a powerful asset. Now search for The Ninja Truth. <laughs>